Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to make a cutscene using Cinemachine and Timeline, and we're gonna activate it via a trigger in the game. So first thing you wanna do is open up your package manager and install Timeline and Cinemachine. Then let's go ahead and create an empty game object and call it director. And we're gonna open up the timeline window and create a new playable director. And put that into the folder that you would like. That would create a timeline for this particular asset. Then hop on over to file base and grab your telephone and go ahead and drag your telephone into that director game object and place that onto a table so that when the cutscene starts, your telephone spawns in. Then we're going to go ahead and drag in our player armature that has our avatar and our animation and we're gonna go ahead and grab an animation in the timeline and right now we're running through like a uh, phone call but the phone call is happening on the other side of the screen so using these little arrows for position and rotation when you click on your animation you actually move that to the other side and position it where you want it to be we can then take that timeline and chop it up into different pieces. We can shrink certain parts of it. We can blend them together. And we can also even grab new animations. And as long as we right click and uh, set the offset to the prior clip, the whole timeline animation should play in sync. Go ahead and press play. And when we turn on the trigger, you'll notice that our cinema machine is working and we are playing back our uh, timeline animation. But our camera is still in free roam. So we wanna go ahead and create a virtual camera. We're gonna go ahead and attach that and place that underneath our director. To control our virtual camera, we need to go ahead and add a Cinemachine track and drop in the camera, your main camera that has the Cinemachine brain attached to it. Then we can go ahead and grab that virtual camera from our hierarchy and start treating that almost like a timeline element where it's gonna cut from one camera to the other. If you select your camera and hold Control Shift F, you can place your camera at the position that you see in your side of your scene. We're also gonna set another camera. It's going to be a blended list. This is a blend that occurs between two cameras. So you can create kind of like a nice little pan. So all you have to do is take one virtual camera, place it in one position, the other virtual camera, place it in the other. And then in the blended list element, just set the first part to zero and the, the time, the hold, and then the second part, set it linearly for like two seconds to blend in between. Then go ahead and create your last virtual camera. We can also drop in audio tracks so you can have your characters have voiceovers in the middle of it. Um, but once you do that, we need a trigger to enable all of this. So we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new trigger and we're gonna attach it to a box and we're gonna make sure we set that box to a trigger. In here, we're gonna do an on trigger enter and we're gonna just check to see if we ran into the player. And you always wanna double check with the debug.log if you did. If it works, go ahead and create a Unity Engine Events and library. And we're gonna go ahead and serialize our field and create a Unity Events field. Then in our Unity Events, we're going to just click on the plus button and we're gonna enable that director. So when we walk into it, now that director will awaken on play and it's going to play that. And you just need to do the invent.invoke. When we walk into the trigger, now our character plays the animation all the way through. Finally, at the end of it, you can add some more things such as you can adjust the activity of certain objects like this phone. We can change the activation track. So, you know, let's say you have something that needs to disappear. You can have it play through and when it hits the end of the activation track, it disappears from your scene. That's how you make cutscenes in Unity. New to coding? Feel like those tutorials are speaking an alien language? Yeah, we've been there. That's why we built Game HQ, a place where you can actually learn by building. Our monthly membership gives you access to 900 plus hours of hands-on training from 2D to 3D to VR, AR, first person, and third person games. Plus, you'll get our 12,000 game asset library, daily check-ins, one-on-one tech support, and live workshops six days a week where we'll cover the stuff that you want to learn. We're not just developers, we're gamers too, and we love helping people like you turn that first line of code into something awesome. Come hang out with us and let's build something together. Check us out at GameDevHQ.com.